Warning! This episode contains copious amounts of bitching and moaning. If you do not want to hear it, then... Well, don't watch. With that said, welcome to Porum's Challenge Dungeon. Yeah, remember what I said about Rydia's being the asshole dungeon? I was wrong. That title belongs to this one. Holy crap do I hate this one. Now, before we go in, we want to make sure we are armed with some supplies, namely at least five of potions, high potions, uh, phoenix down, gold needle, uh, echo orbs, and I think you might need baby's kisses, but I'm not sure. Oh, and also tents. Um, you might want to save your surplus too, but I'm not going to pick one up because, why? Because I don't feel like it. Because I have already gotten the one treasure I want out of this place. So once I finish this run, I will never, ever, ever have to do this place again. I'm not very happy about that. And I am so relieved to hear that I'm not the only person who hates this dungeon. Alright. Yeah, by the, which we mean greedy people. Well, with the exception of, like, three people. That they're okay. So, this is basically a how do we take Rose's Lunar Trial from the original game and make it a thousand times more annoying. We're on a 15 minute time limit and like Edge's Trial, even though I was kind of backwards in my thinking when I said the timer doesn't go through battles, it does. For some reason I was thinking backwards and I didn't catch that I even said that until I was editing it, so I'm like, whoops. Uh, but anyway... You have a 15 minute time limit to help as many people as you can. Now these dudes are going to ask you for five of some of those items I mentioned. Obviously if you don't have them, tough noogies. Now I'm pretty much running from like every battle because these just take too long. And a lot of them are really annoying encounters. And by the way, you only have one physical attacker. Yeah. And you have two squishy widgers who cannot go higher than level 20. So a lot of enemies will kill either your crappy black mage or your white mage in a single hit. Often before they get a turn. Bastard to move game. Bastard to move. Not only that, well, while the the uh, the geography of the map doesn't change, uh, the locations of the people what they want, and their spawn points, you know, your spawn point in the dungeon, yeah, see, like that. Now granted that was a back attack, but there are monsters that will do that on a normal attack. Don't waste poor any of Porum's MP to uh, heal anybody, unless you're like at the very end, because it's gonna run you into some trouble. Yeah, there's Mad Ogres who can appear too, which means you'll have with the exception of Porum with the bow, who does pretty much crap damage, um, you only have one person who can attack them. Which is retarded. Now, like Edge's dungeon, we have, t uh, there's a couple treasure chests in here, and while they won't be booby-trapped, there are a couple, there are two items in here that are, uh, one-time only get items, which I've already gotten. Now, these old men will do you, ask you one of two things. They'll ask you to cast Isuna or Kira. And they can ask you to cast it multiple times. Like that. And that comes from Porum's MP. And by the way, there is no way, besides using your ethers, to restore MP in this dungeon. Usually they won't ask you to do it any more than five or six times. Usually. However, um, since it's also randomized, I had one guy. This is, that guy in the back is, um, the boss dude of this place who I've already killed. So I'm not going to bother trying. But anyway, I had one guy who, right off the bat, asked me to cast Isuna 13 times for him. That's 260 MP, by the way. Yeah. And if you run out of MP in the middle of casting for them, you can't, like, restore your MP and go back and do it again. You only get one shot. That's balls. And then another time, like, right, like a a run or two after that, um, I did get asked to cast it like six times on two different people. Now the black mages will ask you to help them in battle, and they can have one of three encounters here. This is one of them. This is probably the easiest one. 
Uh, the other one is the evil dreamer, and there's something else too. Now the white mage, who may or may not appear, there's only one of them. It will always be only one of them, or zero. When you talk to her, she'll ask you to calm three spirits who will suddenly appear after talking to her in the form of a flaming ball of fire, which you then must talk to and pray, and it disappears, and everyone's talking to Dory. No. Yeah, you can say no to these people, but... Yeah, that was eight times, by the way. Yeah. These old men are bastards. Apparently, they don't know the term, get thee to a hospital. I don't know why I'm keeping this battle in, but it's an easy encounter, so. I'm actually not being attacked that often, which I'm very surprised and actually very happy about, because I did have one run through where I was attacked like 50 something times in 15 minutes. Not even 15 minutes. And by the way, if you run out of time and don't get the chest yet, um, yeah, you'll be kicked out of the dungeon and you just wasted 15 minutes of your life. Yeah, might as well keep this one in. It's a Krampus strike, so, yeah. Help me! Oh, these, this is the bastard encounter. I hate this encounter with the evil dreamers. Um... Because you want your black mage to cast stop, just so he'll stop attacking you. Yeah, see that damage you just did to pour him? Yeah, I cannot tell you how many times he has killed off my black mage. Um, before he could cast stop. I'm serious. Oh, she's in Kiraga. Alright, I'll, I'll take that. The only problem with these black mages is they take forever to say thank you. Like, you waste like four seconds just waiting for them to say thank you. And you can't move during that time, which is ballsy. Um, which way do we need to go to get around there? Oh, we need to go this way. I've kind of learned my way around the map, but since the original spawn point is, um... Did I talk to that old man? I might have. Uh, is random. It kind of disorients me for a while, so... I think I've already spoken to him. Okay. Sorry, big yawn coming out. Would you run? Thank you! Holy cow! Alright, um... Actually, I didn't talk to that old man yet. Let's do that. Oh, thank you! Oh! You freaking assholes! Ugh! Sorry, I had this on keep, so... Not used to get going to the top. All right. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna worry about wasting my items because, well, I'm never gonna do this dungeon ever again. Even if I replay this game, I'm skipping this dungeon. I don't care. I hate this one. I hate it. Hate it. Hate it. And of course, unlike Rose's trial, which while well, well, it was about oh, oh, give me a break, game. Um was about getting through there very, very quickly, and you had a very tight time limit in order to get the best prize. At least, as long as you kept track of how many people you were helping, you knew what prize you were going to get at the end. You knew. This one, you don't. Which sucks. And if you don't help enough people, the treasure at the end isn't even going to be able to have a chance at one of the rare treasures. It's going to be something shitty. No. Yes, yeah, so you can ask for that too, but I didn't get one because why? Because... I don't care what treasure I get at the end, because I've already gotten the adamantite, so, meh. I think that's all three things of things. Three things of fire. You actually don't need to go back and talk to the white mage again after you've, uh... Calm the three spirits, so you still get credit for it. Oh, for the love of cap! And I totally just meant to say crap and combined it with the word cow. Oh my god, game, knock it off! Yeah, I probably should have used her magic, but I'm almost near the end, so. I don't even bother making sure I help everybody because I think I think the amount of actual people um might be the same. It's just a matter of how many you get in there. Like I think I've I think we've only seen two black mages and there there I've seen up to three. And sometimes I see more young men than old men, I think. I don't know. 
After a while, this place kind of blurs together. Okay, now I need to go. I need to go on top. Is how we get over there. I always get lost at this one point of, of how to get over to the extreme left of the map, and it's you gotta walk all the way around right here. And then there's spots like this where it looks like you can walk through, but you can't. Like I swear, they just like I said, they they just took Rose's Lunar Trial and just decided, hey, how can we make this harder and more annoying? And let me tell you, if that was the goal, they succeeded at it really well. Okay, we already talked about that. Yeah, I spawned like over here in the beginning, so I think I might have talked to everybody actually. And then the end of the dungeon is right here, and you can't go back once you think. Now, luckily enough, um, the boss here. Oh, freaking mad ogres! Are you kidding me? Get me my black mage. Um, it's just like a random, like a regular old random encounter here. Um, but sometimes the boss, and I use the term very loosely, is not even here. You know what? I didn't even mean to cast hold the forum. I totally didn't even mean to do that. I don't even know how that happened. I know I had my cursor to keep, and probably because I was messing around. Because one thing I've, I have noticed is that if you have your cursor on keep, yeah, see, I must have gone over to a menu, because you don't even need to select the command. If you, like, back out of it like that, see, she, she, now she's going to cast cure. So you don't even have to cure the spell in order to use it on auto battle if you use it on keep. And I don't care my black magic cubies and stop because I don't need the MP for anything else. Of course, Kane is the only one who can really do anything. A silver apple, I'll take that. That means I helped enough people and made them happy. Hooray! At least I'll give this thing one one thing I will give this dungeon credit for is because of the 15 minute time limit. Um, it's very short. So that is probably the only good thing I have to say about this place. And believe me, I am so happy I never, ever have to do that again. Ever. Ugh. So yeah, sorry for the bitching and complaining, but I just hate this dungeon. Oh my god. I think I think that the fact that that old guy once off screen when I was practicing slash trying to form this place asked me to cast these two and a thirteen times and he was the first person I encountered, that just took the cake for me and I said I'm freaking done with this place. That was just the biggest bastard move I have almost ever seen in this game. And that's saying something. At least the next one is is the next one I will give a credit for, while it can be difficult and a pain in the butt, it is very creative. So, but I still need to practice on that one because I don't have enough of what I want. So thank you for once again for watching everybody. Um, the next one will be a happier episode, I will promise you that. Purim, I'm sorry you got the shaft in this game, but the only thing you got going for you is your hot. And anything else, I don't want to have to do with you ever again. Sorry Tuts, your dungeon sucked. See you later.